What's up guys? In yesterday's video, I told you if you're a drone guy looking to get into the boat world, I would have a budget-friendly option for you. This is that boat. Hey everyone, I'm Nate. And I'm Abby. Amelia has joined us. She's taking a nap over there in the shade. A little jealous of her right now because she's not having an allergy attack in the sun. Nathan's been struggling. Ooh, it is rough. We just did the other boat, a little YouTube movie magic. And now on the second boat video, I am dying. So <laughs> bear with me. But as promised, we are going to show you this is why it's a good drone person boat. So if you're familiar with flying drones or even RC helicopters, this transmitter is used a lot on drones. And this guy is throttle this way and steering like this. So if you're used to flying drones, it, it, it might sound crazy to some of you, but there are a lot of people out there. And in fact, we gave a little RC truck to our niece about a week or so ago. And when she held the uh, pistol grip style transmitter, she just couldn't wrap her mind around it. Now, yeah, she's young but some people just prefer this style of transmitter. So this is for you, $39.99. We'll have a link in the description box below. It's under $40. It comes with everything that you need for an RC boat, including the battery, the charger, transmitter, everything. So let's drive it. If it performs well, then we'll show you more stuff at the end of the video. See if it got any water on board. Let's have some fun with this. One thing I do like about this boat is it has two layers of water protection. So you put this seal on, it locks in place with four clicking locks and then you put the cool decorative piece on top that also helps keep out a lot of water. So I like that design a lot. I like to point this out, especially on a budget friendly boat video like this. Yeah, a lot of new people don't know. See that little metal contact there? This, even though this is turned on, the battery's plugged in, this is turned on. When I give it throttle, I have nothing. When I steer, I have nothing. So uh, this has to touch water before it will let you drive. So let's do that. Hey Nate, I wanna drive this one. Okay. Ready? Yeah. Goodbye, fishy. They scatter, but then they'll come back to check it out. Okay. Okay. Right. Abby's at the controls. Do you think it's going to go fast? Uh, probably about as fast as yesterday's. Oh, maybe a little faster. Seems faster. Yeah. Okay. That's cool. It is faster. Oh, yeah. It turns better, too. Oh, okay. Bigger right turns, but left turns seem very sharp. It's definitely faster. Very sharp. I turns. can tell. That's full throttle. Yeah. That's nice. $40? $39.99, baby. <laughs> the exact. <laughs> well, you know, right before we came out to do these videos, I looked up the prices on both boats just so I could be, you know, accurate. Yesterday's was $41. Uh, today's $39.99. Nice. Through the pollen. Get rid of that pollen. Yeah. Oh, that's what's... I just can't breathe. <laughs> I am like, I, I just don't want to get into details, but I'm, I'm saving you guys a lot of nasty, <laughs> nastiness. <clears throat> it's, it's bad. Allergies are bad. <sighs> okay, that bogged down the boat too, just like yesterday's boat. Yeah, thick pollen. Wow. Well, show maybe. Uh, it's still struggling. Uh, maybe something. Is maybe throw, throw it in reverse out there. Just easy. Just easy. I don't want it to get sucked under too bad. That probably helped. Yeah, I did. Thank you. Nice. This is doing really well. I like it. I like the car transmitters, but I kind of like this too. It makes sense. It does make it sense. Makes sense. You just throttle forward mm -hmm. and then steer with the right stick. So and then you're definitely right when you say drone people, airplane people would like this style better for sure. I agree. Yeah. Let's check out the fish. Let's get really no. slow. Yeah, it's got proportional throttle and steering. You don't have to do all or nothing. Oh, we got some slow. kind of a fly over. Oh yeah, look scared. at those fish. Look at the fish. Oh, there they all scattered. Your reverse throttle scared them, I think. There they go. Little bluegill are checking you out. They're like, wait a second. This, can we take this on as a team? Look at them. They, they go right, when it's not going, they really check it out. Yeah, I can see them. I think everyone else can too. <sighs> go away, fly. That's so cool. All right, I'm gonna look at them. Easy, look easy. Don't, don't scare them. I'm not gonna scare them. Yeah, they're all I mean, like, they hey. scare easily. Little baby bluegill. Isn't that cool? That's really cool. It's fun. It's, it's really fun to mix RC with the rest of the world. Really cool. We saw a frog earlier. 
pretty good size. Good size frog. A good frog. You know works. what I like about this boat is that, that there's no range issues or anything. Don't seem to have any range issues and at all. And it's a good speed for this size of pond. Perfect. I agree. Look, I'm like all the way out there. I'm I think this might be the best RC boat for 40 bucks. That was my fault. You are way out Bad there. Steering. Zoomed out so people can see the distance. What do you guys think of the zoom on this camera? Here we go. Two times. There's three times. Four. And I think it goes into digital zoom yeah, right, right around bad. here. Doesn't no look as good. Zoom. We'll go back out. I think four, four times zoom. Yeah, this is a <clears throat> nice boat. Well, let me drive it a minute. I can drive despite this allergy craziness. I gotta drive. I just drive haven't it. had a chance to drive a boat first. So yeah, I'm drive that's first. okay. That's okay. Let me give it a shot. I want to destroy some of this pollen. Right. Get even on that stuff. All right, I want to take out some of that pollen, Abby. Mm. Go away, pollen. It's a futile, futile effort. It's always, about... it's always interesting with me and you because different pollen gets us. So my allergies always hit in the spring well before yours ever kick in. See, a little bit of stuff I'm dragging. Just kick yeah. it in reverse. Reverse on Look at both. all those fish. I can't get over it. I hope it shows up on camera. I think it is. I saw it. I saw it a little bit. Look at them all. This is so neat. So do you think those bluegill are the hatched bluegill and they're just chilling and growing? Or do you think those are the parents? They're pretty small. Uh, I've seen some small ones, so probably hatched. Yeah, the last time we were here, it looked like maybe eggs. Yeah. I like to... Who out there is fishermen also into the RC hobby? Because Abby and I, we were into fishing before we got into RC. We don't talk about that very much, but you and I used to buy our fishing license every yeah. year. Go out and catch fish. I don't think we've bought a fishing license since like our second year in RC. Yeah, <laughs> RC is it's kind of more fun. Don't tell ever. Don't tell the fishing. Fishing guys is that. fun. It is fun, but RC is better. Okay. Well, I don't really. I want to push this to see if it's going to have a low battery alarm, but I'm also afraid because now we don't have a recovery boat because <laughs> the other one is very well, low battery low battery but it's not dead completely no that's full throttle i mean i'm really pretty happy with that that amount of time yeah if you're a kayaker a canoe person or a fisherman and you have access to a boat which we do you guys see it way over there i just hate to have to drag that boat out just to recover this i think the wind look let's say if we stop i think the wind would probably push us but it is to our back so it'd probably push us way over <laughs> yeah. there in the tall grass <laughs> we'd have to get that big rowboat out. Let's see if we can get these little fish to come out one more time. That is fun, isn't it? Yeah. I like, like, they're just curious. It's neat to Ooh, watch. Very curious little fish. Come here, little guys. I'll go nice and slow. I'm not going to hurt any fish. Look at them. They're like, it's a butt. <laughs> it's a butt. Remember? Yeah, yeah. Nemo. I touched the, the boat's touched butt. The boat. And I touched its butt. <laughs> they're checking it out. They're like, we have never seen anything like this before. Also, this boat is kind of a different style. The top of it looks more like a river boat than like a racing boat. Mm -hmm. It's kind of neat. All right, let's get out of here. I haven't seen that bass since yesterday's video. I'd like to see the bass come by again. Well, we're definitely bogged down, so I'll tell you what. This would be a good chance to recover the boat. All right, sorry, little fishies. Get out of the way. <laughs> oh, I thought that was a bee. It was just a fly. <laughs> just trying to knock some of that stuff off there. I knocked some of it off. Okay, well, I could probably keep it going because I knocked off whatever. Yeah, okay, one more time around. There you go. Right turn is sharp. Left turn is pretty sharp. Right turn is sharp. And we're going to hit the bank kind of fast because it's getting grown up so I can recover this thing. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Okay, we got it. Yeah. <laughs> Woo, it's still wet, so it's still letting me... It still thinks it's in the water. But you guys can see we got a little bit of grass and stuff. That's actually probably from where I just hit the bank. Yeah, I'd say so. Rudder is still in one piece, so is the propeller. Uh, it's a very strong little boat. $39.99. I'm really happy with that. It's, it's kind of a nice... You know, we get really excited when we find a good RC truck or a good... Uh, thank you. Good RC truck, maybe a good RC drone for under $50. We should be just as excited about this. This is a really good find. 40 bucks. And... You know, we get asked this all the time. I take it for granted because we've been doing this for six years now. Some of the really simple stuff we kind of overlook. People ask us all the time, Nate, can I drive, if I bought two of these, can I drive one with my son, my grandson, my daughter, my granddaughter? The answer is yes. You could drive, you could probably get 30 
50 of these, you could get 100 of these going. They're on 2.4 gigahertz. Water test. Here's a little bit. We got some water in there. Ah, uh, barely. Not a lot, Not though. bad. Maybe like a quarter of a teaspoon. <laughs> that was very little water. Well, guys, there's the water cooling system in there. I like to talk about this because it is pretty cool, especially for new boat people. Water gets sucked up here in the little hole in the bottom of the boat. Goes through the hose, wraps around the motor, and then shoots out the side, out that little rubber hose. I like this boat. I like it a lot more than yesterday's boat, just because it didn't get that weird, annoying, early low voltage warning. Let's go take a look at the box and see what else comes with this. Okay, we were actually throwing this back out to get the thumbnail for you guys, and we got it upside down. Flips over, self riding boat. So I'm really glad that we were able to show you that. As promised, we'll show you everything that comes in the box. The boat itself, and we showed you underneath the canopy. I really like that it has the two layers of canopy, but it does look cool, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. Kind of a river boat looking style of race boat. And then the transmitter is very nice. We have throttle, steering, very cool. Four AA batteries go in the back. And we do have the trim too. Comes with instructions that are actually in English, unlike yesterday's slightly more expensive boat. Everything was packaged really well with foam on all sorts of things to try and protect stuff. It also came with a USB charge cable that is more universal than yesterday's battery. Uh, this one it just charges through the balance lead, so I really like that a lot. Then, just for a little extra fun, let's say you're driving out in a rocky area instead of a nice soft area like we are. It came with, came with this really cool little rubber protector that goes on the front of the boat to protect the hull, so if you're going to hit rocks and stuff, it will save your boat. Very nice. I also have a wrench with this one that the other boat did not come with yesterday. Wrench to take on the little nut off the prop there. And if your prop breaks, they gave you a spare prop. And then we have a cool boat stand. And for those of you that don't know what these are, I talk about them all the time, but I rarely show you. They're pretty easy to put together. And then your boat can sit proudly on display. Guys, I like this. For under $40, this might be the best boat we've come across. We'll have it linked in the description box below and we'll pin a comment so you know you have the best price available on this thing. Thanks a lot for watching. We'll see you in the next video. Bye!